Wow, what timing. Wait a second. Let me see if I've got... Hello. Hello, it's Graham here. It is Graham. Aha. Uh -huh. We were getting a little worried. I just had Brian send you out an email. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm here. <laughs> All right. We've got... Good, good. I know this is so early in the morning for you. No problem. I've gotten up, got my cup of coffee. And, and that's great. You got a nice tall cup of coffee, I would imagine. I hope. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty big one. <laughs> and uh, we're talking to who we have on the phone lines right now is Graham Wallington of Wild Earth TV, all the way in South Africa. And uh, Graham, it's great to hear from you this morning. Yes, thank you. It's uh, five thirty a.m. there. 5.30 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I've I'm been up for half an hour, getting my mind right. Wow. And uh, and you, you're you way out there, and we're here in Boston. It's 10, 10.37 right now. And uh, we want we, we actually, I spoke to our WAF listeners a little while ago about the fact that uh, the, the reason we're speaking tonight is all about bringing worlds together, and it's all about the children. And um, Children of Dixie is something that... You and, and Wild Earth TV, there are children in a village next to you that you're sponsoring. Um, I, you know what? I'm terrible at explaining this. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that, Graham? Okay. Um, what, we, what we're doing is we're trying, to, we're trying to make a difference in a very small village um, right next to the game reserve that Wild Earth broadcasts from. The game reserve we broadcast from is Juma Game Reserve, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's part of the Greater Kruger National Park area. Um, and uh, the only people that live inside the, the reserve, including the Kruger National Park, are people that are either tourists or are working in some of the game lodges um, inside the reserve. But just outside one of the gates, Gauri Gate, um, is a small village called Dixie. Um, it is a, a population of about 400 people, of which um, there are 143 children under the age of 14. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a very poor village. There, there, there are no sealed or tarred roads. Uh, there, there are, the, the, the people don't have very much. Um, there's, there's no running water to each home. Um, there's a small school um, and, uh, and, and, and not a great deal else. Um, not everybody's employed, so the, the, the people on, on, are not wealthy and, uh, and don't have many of the things that, that we all take for granted. And w what we decided to do was to, to try and see if we could um, make a difference in, in that village. Um, and, and I guess, that's, uh, and I, and I guess it's, it's, it's an important thing to do because conservation is, is, not, is less and less about animals and more and more about making the people that live around the, the, the reserves that we want to conserve, um, making those people feel um, a, a real value in that conservation. And, and then I think that's what we're trying to do. Tell us a little bit about the the children. There's a there's a school there, correct? The yep, there's a there's a school. Um, the school goes up to um, uh, about um, I'm trying to think of this about goes up to about the age of twelve, um, and then the kids have to walk to a nearby another another village nearby called Utah. Um, or uh, <laughs> it's quite funny. We've got Dixie. We've got Utah. Uh, <laughs> But uh, they, the, they will have to walk there when they get a bit older. There's also a small creche, um, and, uh, and that creche is, is really there to look after the kids when the parents go out to work um, in, in, the, in the mornings and into the afternoons. And that's where this really began in many ways, because one of our long-term viewers, um, Dean Rawls, uh, you might know her as Bushnut, she, um, she started working with Rotary International to help that creche out with, the, with um, Rexon and Tamani, one of our presenters. And, uh, and, and really getting, you know, school materials and helping the teachers out. And in fact, getting the building built was done by Juma Game Reserve quite some years ago. Um, was really the beginning of this trying to help this village out. That, and now one of your, as you, you just mentioned, Rexon, who is one of your presenters, meaning one of your drivers for the live game drives on Wild yes. Earth TV. And Rexon grew up in that village, did he not? In the, he yeah, he grew up there. He um, he actually he used to um, before the reserve was 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 proclaimed. His grandfather and his great grandfather actually lived on Juma. There, 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 was, there was a small village on Juma Game Reserve um, many many years ago, um, and uh, and and his grandfather grew up there and and used to take Rexon walking around when he was a kid and teaching him the ways of the bush. So Rexon really grew up right there in that in, in that area and lives in that village with with his with his with his wives and children.
that's something else. Now, moving towards what, what, towards the future, actually, is the the near future. Jeez, Christmas is almost here. Uh, <laughs> We're um, you're you're actually doing Christmas in Dixie, and this is a this is a big cause that's going on right now. You're raising funds and awareness uh, about s- a big Christmas party for the kids. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay. Um, well, what happened was th- there are a few different charities um, that that work in the area, including Dixie, and 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 they work on big projects. Um, they work on things like you know building schools and hospitals. And what we decided to do was to start small. Um, and when I say we, 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 Wild Earth is shortened to, to W-E or we. And we, we call this group the, the, the We Angels or the Wild Earth Angels, mm-hmm. people that would be willing to help to, 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 make this, to make these projects come alive. And the first one that we took on was a very simple little project, was to, was to take all the kids to, um, to go and see a, a, a film in um, Nalspreit, which is the, the closest big city. Um, it's about a three-hour drive away. And none of these kids, kids had ever seen a sealed road before, a double-story road. They'd never been out of the village or that area. And we got some buses, and we took them, and they had, they had a hamburger lunch, and got some popcorn, and, uh, and, a, and a big soda, and, and, and watched, and watched uh, a, a film in, in Nalspreit. And it was a very exciting project. And really what we wanted to do was to start small and to build, to build um, a trust with, with, with the village and, and with the, the wee angels, and, and that went off very well. Our second project, um, which is which is going very well again, um, uh, is Christmas at Dixie, and and really we've got two objectives with this. The first is to make sure that every single child gets um, a present. Um, there are 143 kids under 14, and um, and they've never had Christmas presents Oof. before. Um, and uh, you know the, our experience of Christmas in the Western world, or you know in a more affluent world is quite different from theirs. And we just thought, what an, what an awesome thing to, to just give these kids. It's not, it's not a big deal in, in, in our lives, but in their lives it's going to be really important. And, uh, and so we put a call out to, to see if we could raise some money to do this, and we've been overwhelmed by the response. And we've gone, my, my wife and I, Emily and I, have bought all the presents. Uh, already half of them are down at Juma, and they're all being wrapped and so on by, by the Wild Earth crew. Um, the other, the other half are actually. I'm looking at them now in in my house. It's a huge pile of presents <laughs> which we've got to get down there. Um, and uh, and and the other part of what's going to happen on Christmas Day is that we're going to we're going to throw a, a party or a lunch for about 500 people. Uh, th- th- to be honest, I'm absolutely certain there's going to be a lot more than 500 people that that come. <laughs> I wish <laughs> I was there. Gonna, yeah, the word's going to travel. But what we're doing is um, we've uh, we 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 bought a couple of oxen that um, that we're going to cook um, and uh, and and uh, about a hundred chickens and a bunch of sheep and we're going to make the uh, 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 something called millipup, which is um, which is I'm trying to think if there's an, a kind of an American equivalent and I can't it's sort of like a, a, a stiff porridge <laughs> uh, made out of maize meal um, corn um, and, uh, and and it's a staple diet. And then we're going to make some salads, and we're going to make a whole lot of things, and we're, we're going to feed everyone. Um, and then there's going to be a lot of dancing, and there's going to be uh, it's, it's going to be a big celebration, which we're going to broadcast live. So on wildearth.tv, www.wildearth.tv, um, you'll be able to you'll be able to come along and watch for free through that through the whole proceedings, giving the kids the presents, and then moving into lunch uh, and all the dancing and uh, who knows what. <laughs> For the whole day, so we're gonna we're gonna put that out live on our site. This is exciting. So people that are listening now can actually click in right into the website and watch this party going on. That's exactly what they're gonna be able to do on Christmas Day. And, and what <laughs> be is a part the, of it. <laughs> what is that website again? Uh, it's www.wildearth.tv. Nice. And uh, when everybody to write that down, it's a party. And uh, mm-hmm. I, geez, I wish I could fly out, but uh, internet is good. And there's also <laughs> there are also some other sites. Um, I uh, there is isn't there something where there's a particular magazine, a web magazine, where if they get five thousand members or, or a certain amount of members that sign up on the on the um, Christmas Children of Dixie or the Children of Christmas of Dixie. I'm totally missing this. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm talking about. Everybody. Yeah, knows, I know what you're right? talking about.